What's going on, everyone? Like, subscribe, guys, if you can. I'm going to be bringing some epic stuff, as always. Um, so here we see that Jeff Grubb, source who mentioned Epic Mickey, and he was right. He's right about a lot of stuff. He's been on point for a while, and I'm telling you guys, Grubb is reliable. He's not just some random guy that just wants to get attention. He tells you something, you know. He knows what he's talking about. And uh, you guys can take it however you want to take it. And I can tell you 100% believe, you know, everything he says. But I'm going to tell you from my own professional standpoint, and I've been doing this for a very long time, I just never went on YouTube uh, to share it like I'm sharing it now. You know, I've always had Intel from Japan, Intel from overseas, Intel right here in America, and I've been doing it for years. And now I'm going to actually do it professionally and share it with you guys. And I'm going to tell you from my long-time experience, I've been gaming since NES days. Um, he's reliable. So, and it makes sense for Metroid Prime 4 to be revealed this year. They haven't talked about it for a while. Along with that, too, um, it's supposed to be Pokemon Gold and Silver being the highlight of the holiday days. And will this mean that Nintendo will try to use this to close out an epic closeout with the Switch? And not announce the next gen console for coming out this year so they can get the last burst out of it. That seems highly likely now with this, you know, being the case. But that does not mean that Metroid Prime 4 is not getting cross gen treatment. Oh, yeah, it is. I can almost guarantee you that it's going to get cross gen. It deserves that. And it's better that it did get delayed all the way here till now. And we know they scrapped it and put the original developers at Retro Studios down in Austin on it. Which is good, and also the producer now is Kensuke Tanabe. Let me tell you guys why that's good, if you don't know who Kensuke Tanabe is. He's been there just as long as Miyamoto by his side. He's high quality, and, you know, he's not been given the credit that he deserves, but let's take a look at this. This is him right here. Present, 1986. That's how long he's been with Nintendo as a producer, designer, and doing other things. Look at this guy. Super Mario Bros. 2. 3. Yeah, Link to the Pass. Link's Awakening. Kirby's Dream Course. Donkey Kong Country. What? Do we remember these games? He was there. Look at all these games. Yeah, even games like Star Wars. Ocarina of Time. Oh yeah, one of the greatest games of all time. The highest rated game ever in gaming history. 99 Man. Like I said, he's been right there with Miyamoto the whole time. He's just didn't have his face there. But, you know, he deserves a lot of respect in a lot of ways. Look at this, 64. Do we see how far this is going? Even the game like Eternal Darkness, which we loved on GameCube. He's been there for the original Metro, uh, Metro Prime. We see that co-producer. Paper Mario, Metro Prime 2 producer, there. Now you see why they put him back. See, they're trying to go back to that original magic. Star Fox games, I mean, he, he's, he's, he's been there. He's been there in the Metroid series. Yeah, mother. I said, this guy's pipeline is incredible. He's still around. It's one thing I love about Nintendo. Out of everyone else in the industry, you don't see nobody leaving there. They have the strongest force of unity, which is why they produce the highest quality. That's something that's missing in a lot of places, definitely in Western society. You know, uh, and it's not to beat it down. No, this is just constructive criticism and being honest. This is not negativity. This is the honest truth. Activity would be like attacking people, calling them names, you know, and it's not being professional. But anyways, back to this, Metro Prime 3, Corruption. As you see, he's been there, Smash Brothers 2. I mean, it's just, this is the guy you want producing Metroid. So this is how you know that magic's going to come in here. And the trilogy, he just never left the series. And he's just done so much, as we see. This is why we have to highlight this. And all the Luigi's Mansions. That's why Luigi's Mansions 3 was absolutely mind-blowing. Do you guys remember the production and the quality on Luigi's Mansions 3 on the Switch? It looks like a PS4 game at the time. And an Xbox game. With the Switch technology. So imagine what he's going to do with Metroid Prime 4. Tropical Freeze. Yeah, that's right. He was the producer for that. That's why I say he does just amazing work. As you see, Luigi's Mansions 3. He's the producer. So Metroid Prime 4, who's the producer? Who was there for Metroid Prime Remaster? Look how great that was. This is the guy you want. So we have that going on along with, um, you know, the original uh, team. So 
expect Metroid Prime 4 to be amazing. Uh, and then, you know, right here, out this year with two new mainline Pokemon games, says Insider. Oh yeah, a Game Freak already announced that there's going to be, right here, a reveal. Pokemon Gold and Silver, most likely. And they may have some other stuff, who knows. Uh, but I believe they can get cross-gen treatment too, and a lot of games will. The first time Nintendo's going to be doing this, and they're going to have the biggest carryover in gaming history. PlayStation 4 had it before them. There's no way they're leaving it behind. The president already said that you're going to just be able to log into your uh, account and carry on. That kind of just gives you the cross-gen hint. You know what I mean? And backwards compatibility. That's the biggest question mark I wanted from Nintendo. I'm not worried about them doing anything else. I know they're re reliable and they're going to be fine. But yeah, guys, expect Metroid Prime 4 to be really good. And I also think that it may have something more than just single player. I believe we may see a co-op and online system. You know? So, it's good that it got delayed all the way to here. Because that's better technology that's going to be a waiting hit after we experience this version. So, that's what I wanted to highlight for you guys about Metroid Prime 4. Um, and for those fans that are longtime fans that knows, this series deserves to be selling 10 million, you know what I mean? Uh, and I believe that Metroid Prime 4 can be that breakout after Dread breaking the record to keep on going. Because there's IPs that just they didn't get the love that they deserved, and they always had the high quality development. I want Xenoblade to get that, you know what I mean? Because there's like RPGs coming out that are selling like, well, Xenoblade's better than all these games, but it's not selling as well. Uh, but, you know, it's getting there. And Metroid Prime 4 definitely needs to do that. We saw what Dread did, um, and this game is going to take it to new heights even farther. The Switch is just a platform where every IP has just been taken to new heights that we've never seen before. It's the greatest run in gaming history. Like, we've never seen software be taken to that level of sales. It's astronomical. Uh, and I can't wait to see Metro Prime 4 do that on the Switch and go to the next console and keep selling. And then people are going to see, yeah, this is it. Because when they make games, you're not going to see any game be like Metroid. No, they make real games where it's like, it's not generic like a Call of Duty. I have to say it, you know what I mean? These games are just like, man, this is generic, this is generic, I've seen this before, you know what I mean? In Nintendo World, you don't get that. You get real development and not that MTX bullcrap. Um, I only like MTX when it doesn't um, interfere with actual gameplay and development and it's not hurting the end game and you're not buying your way through. If it's just optional vanity and you're still giving me a good game where I can earn everything out of it, okay, sure, you know what I mean? Uh, but it's the stuff that I see today, and you know, I game on everything. It just kind of annoys me because it's not the true heart of gaming. Um, and yeah, in Nintendo World, you're, you're not going to have to worry about that crap. And if they do do it, they'll do it right. Uh, but anyway, anyhow, guys, this is what I wanted to cover. Uh, and I'll be bringing you some more high quality uh, updates on things. Like and subscribe if you like this video. And you guys have a good day. Peace.